Radical. So I will be talking about a gay museum that is coming out in 2024. You know, this one actually is going to be coming out in 2024, you know. But right now, what we're going to do is like rapid fire thumbnail reviews of Mr. John Hancock, the immortal, the immortal John Hancock. I want to give some fair and objective thoughts on some of his recent thumbnails. Now, I'm actually not on his YouTube channel. I'm over on his Twitter. I don't know. Just like I was thinking game museums and like, how could I not think about John Hancock? Who I'm pretty sure, you know, he's he's probably close to getting that game museum up right. Should be by now. It's it's been a while since he kind of started on that thing. But <clears throat> let's start out. And I know he on his Twitter he uploads uh, the thumbnails, so we will see. And the first one, <laughs> oh, 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 oh my hev my hev what is this? My heavens! I have never seen him or anyone with a face like that. This PlayStation 1 bad games. Okay, what do I like about it? It looks really crisp. I like the font. This is definitely, this is definitely uh, better stuff than his yellow fonted thumbnails. Very bold. I like how the PlayStation 1 just kind of fits in there. You know, it, it's not cheap looking. This is actually a good thumbnail for what it is outside of the face, the contorted face. Also note that he's wearing a PlayStation hat, which fits along nicely with the PlayStation 1 system. His face is all contorted. He got one eyebrow going up. He got one that's just kind of, I don't, you know, he's got some weird eyebrow action there. One eye is squinted. Like maybe... You know, maybe he got stung by a bee or something just flew in it like before the camera was taken. But down near the mouth, it is very contorted. I don't know. Usually we talk about like what kind of a face it is. You know, you have your constipated face. You have the O face. Uh, if I had to take a guess, I would say that's the face of somebody that it's either the look of somebody that uh, cut the tip of their tip of their foreskin in their zipper after using a urinal or someone who stepped in a steaming fresh pile of dog crap on a 95 degree day after buying brand new boots, I believe. Next one here is called Ranking Micronet. And then there's a Genesis game and he's pointing at the Micronet. He's smiling there. Uh, this is an okay one. Back to the yellow, though. Mm. I mean, the yellow, it's not bad here because it has complementary colors with the purple in the background and the blue, so it's not as bad. And then there's a color scale behind him. I don't understand what the purpose of that is. Uh, the game, it's a bit blurry, so it's hard to read that. Uh, I don't know. If I was ranking that one, I'd probably give that one maybe a, maybe a six or a seven, something like that. After that, we got after that we got one titled "Prototypes One" in this auction. I think this is a big step back for a lot of reasons. Or well, it's older than the uh, two I talked about. First, this was from May twenty eighth, and the others uh, May thirtieth, and then four hours ago. Actually, this is a big step back. Because the yellow font and the yellow against like the white and black background, it's just not the right color, I don't think, in this particular case. And the red and the yellow, red and yellow really don't complement each other very well. I will say there's a good use of his head in the thumbnail and he looks kind of stoic, kind of stoic like a statue, I would say. So... It's a big step back, I'll tell you why. It's very blurry on the thing that he's supposedly pointing to, he wants to look at. Very blurry. I don't know why that these prototypes are so blurry. It's not blurry in a way where trying to get you to... Um, it's not a, not a blur on purpose is what I'm saying. So it, it just trust me on this, it's a step back. If you compare this versus his most recent one, Bad Games... 
are, specifically the ranking Micronet, you could tell the difference in quality there. Uh, will the Steam Pal come out? It's blue. Background, I mean, this is very simplistic. Uh, the yellow and blue work together very well. I mean, nothing, nothing wrong with it. You know, it's not exciting. I mean, I'd probably give that one maybe a, maybe a five or six. We'll finish up on this by... <laughs> the color wheel comes back. I don't get the color wheel. I see the color wheel in one. I don't understand it. Like red, green, yellow, blue, purple. Someone explain the color wheel he's done here to the right. It just seems like a side of a Rubik's Cube for no reason. Doesn't work specifically here. Unless that's a logo for Kaneko or something. Ranking Kaneko games. He does have Chester Cheetah. Uh, but a lot of these really don't work together that well. See, if he just had the Kaneko and the ranking, and the ranking was maybe in a color other than yellow... Uh, but I will say, wait, 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 the yellow actually does kind of blend in with Chester Cheat a little bit. But he should have chose, should have chose orange to complement Chester Cheetah. Oh, that's just the left side of the thumbnail. What's going over with the right side of the thumbnail? We got John Hancock, and I make the joke that whenever a lot of these YouTubers have their mouth a wide open and a gape, uh, I say, well, maybe we should stick something in their mouths. Well, John Hancock took note, and he stuck, it looks to be, some of those cheesy doodles, those Chester cheesy doodles, in his mouth, in his gullet. He's got about four in there. But the weird thing is, he doesn't look happy. Doesn't look that happy to be eating on them, munching on them Chester Cheetah cheese doodles. Doesn't seem that happy at all. It just seems like a very sad reflective. You know? Like, I can't believe it's come to this. I can't believe it's come to this and I gotta do this thumbnail where I stick cheese doodles in my mouth and look at a, a non-existent Chester Cheetah. 